Now at five, we have a first look inside Facebook's new Cambridge office. Fits right in with the innovation community in Kendall Square. And from the look of things, it seems Facebook wants its workers to work hard, but also play hard. It's the latest in our Boston Next series on technology. Here's WBZ's Christina Rex. It's 130,000 square feet of space, ready to triple its employee count. Right now we're over 200 and this space sets us up for growing to over 600 over the coming years. Five years into Facebook's Boston debut, uh. new site leader Lainey Zaymore is taking the torch from Boston founder Ryan Mack and making a goal to engage, train and hire local. There's a ton of talent here in, in engineering, data science, AI, machine learning, and so we really want to draw from that, from the universities, the startups, the other companies here. I want to hold these companies accountable and make sure that they are, you know, making that effort. Massachusetts Assistant Secretary of Technology Damon Cox jokes that Facebook is the company that got away with a move to Silicon Valley after its humble founding at Harvard. Part of my job is to make sure that great companies like Facebook start here and stay here. One way the company is attracting new talent, it's modern layout with lots of local flair. You'd expect an office like Facebook to be full of technology, and it is, but there are also a ton of rooms for employees to relax, some of which are pretty hard to find. How about a snack at the Green Monster Garden? Or a jam session with coworkers in a room named after an Aerosmith song. You can hear people playing music like you walk past here a little bit. Or you could always take a walk along the Freedom Trail or Red Line with stops paying homage to Facebook's Cambridge journey. Before you land, of course, at the office bar. All work perks aimed at attracting local talent, an effort welcomed by state officials. Please hire more people and graduates from Massachusetts and again, keep them here. In Cambridge, Christina Rex, WBZ News.